it's difficult for people to become motivated to try to overcome diabetes because the things that get us to diabetes seem like rewards. To me, there's no more sobering fact about diabetes than the World Health Organization's announcement in the mid-2000s that the current generation of children would be the first in the Western world likely to not live longer than their parents because of the increasing prevalence of obesity and diabetes-related obesity. So clearly, our lifestyle has brought about a catastrophic change for our society. We have to combat it one person at a time. It's difficult for people to become motivated to try to overcome diabetes because the things that get us to diabetes seem like rewards, eating sweets and sitting around and watching the tube and that kind of thing. When I try to motivate somebody to overcome diabetes, the main thing that I try to encourage in them is change in their thinking about what is really a reward in their life. And I say to them that you know, growing older and being out of shape and fatigued all the time and, you know, not being able to do the things that you want, dying early, maybe not having your vision and all that stuff before you're, you die is not a reward of the life that you want to live. A reward is being able to do everything that you want until late in life, enjoying the activities of your grandchildren and all that sort of thing. And the best way to get there is to change your lifestyle, stay healthy, keep your diabetes under control.